Hey everybody, and in today's video, we're going to talk about the word get. Hey everybody, and if we haven't met before, my name's English teacher Matthew, and I'm here to help you improve your English. And in today's lesson, I'm going to teach you a few different ways in which we use get in English. Okay, so let's look at the first usage of get. And this is when we use get with a noun. And when we use get with a noun, it can mean receive, buy, or find, depending on the context of the sentence or the passage. So, uh, one way I would uh, illustrate um, what this get means is, uh, initially, firstly, you don't have it, then you get it, and now you have it. Yes? And here are some example sentences that I've written here. The first one is, I got your email. This has the same meaning as receive, so we could say, I received your email. And um, this one here says, I got my shirt from Zara. I got my shirt from Zara. And in this meaning, it means buy. And uh, here, this last one says, I'll get her for you. Um, so maybe the context here is I've called somebody and I've said, hello, is somebody there? And they've said, no, I'll get her for you. I'll go find her for you. So this is the, this one. Now notice after each one, we've got got your email, got my shirt, and get her. So after here, after the get, all of the objects are nouns. And this is when we use get to mean receive, buy, or find. Now, this is the second way we use get, and we use get with an adjective here. And when we use get with an adjective, it means to become. So, initially, you are not the adjective, then you get the adjective, and then you are the adjective. So, for example, before you get hungry, you are not hungry, but because you don't eat, you get hungry, and then you are hungry, right? Because now you really want to eat. Now, again, here are some example sentences. Again, after each get, you see there is adjective, right? Get cold, get hungry, get better. The first sentence says, the weather is getting cold. So, that means before it wasn't cold, but it's becoming cold. Eventually it will be cold, but it's getting colder. It's in the process of becoming cold. This one here is a conditional. It says, you will get hungry if you don't eat. So if you don't eat, um, your stomach will make a noise and say, feed me, please. And then this one, the last one says, I hope you get better. So get better means become well again. You would say this to someone when they're sick. Another meaning of get is when we use it to mean arrive. And when we want to use get to mean arrive, we have to add the preposition to. So here we say, I get to somewhere. Here's an example sentence. I got to London at 8 p.m. Now I could substitute get to here with arrive. So I could say I arrived and then I have to use in London. I arrived in London at 8 p.m. So you can say get to work, uh, get to the supermarket, um, get to the cinema. You can use get to to mean arrive. However, just remember with these examples here, for example, when we use here or there, we don't need the to. So we can say I got here yesterday. I arrived here yesterday and also with home. I get home at 9 p.m. This is a present simple, so this is saying my routine. I usually get home at 9 p.m. So we can also use get to mean arrive as well. And finally, before we finish today, I just want to mention that get is also used a lot in phrasal verbs, and you can find a list of uh, phrasal verbs with get actually in the dictionary. So if you find a dictionary, and you look up get, you will see a huge list, maybe for pages and pages of different uh, phrasal verbs we use with get. 
Get is actually a really, really common verb in English. And if you understand how to use get and you learn some phrasal verbs with the word get, then maybe you've learned half of English language already. But anyway, thank you so much for watching today's video. If you have any questions about get, then leave them in the comments below. And if you want to see more, make sure you press subscribe. But until next time, remember to keep practicing.